In this problem, we're asked to evaluate this expression here, the arc sine of the negative square root of 2 over 2, without using a calculator. So that means I need to use my unit circle. So the, often the easiest way to evaluate these is to set your expression equal to a variable. I'm going to pick theta. And then let's translate this and figure out what this means. This means that the sine of theta has to equal negative the square root of 2 over 2, but there are some restrictions on all inverse trig functions. The restrictions on the inverse sine or arc sine are the answer better be lie between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. What does that mean? That means on the unit circle, negative pi over 2 is down here. If I rotate in a negative direction, this will get me to negative pi over 2. And if I rotate in the positive direction to pi over 2, I'm going to land up here. So my answer can lie anywhere from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So my answer can only be in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4, but be careful if it's in quadrant 4, I have to take the angle that's rotated in the negative direction. So let's go look at the trig function that I have. I know that the sine is equal to negative the square root of 2 over 2. I'm restricted by the restrictions on the inverse sine function to 1 and 4. Well, the sine of any angle in quadrant 1 is positive, but the sine of any angle in quadrant 4 is negative. So I need an angle in quadrant 4, and we need to look for the y values and find a y value here that's equal to negative the square root of 2 over 2. So that is what I'm looking for. So this is the angle I'm looking for. And so at this point, a lot of students say theta equals 7 pi over 4. But unfortunately, that does not lie within the range that I'm allowed to have. So what we have to do is use coterminal angles. And remember, to coterminal angles, you add or subtract 2 pi. So since I want to go in the negative direction, I'm going to subtract 2 pi. And remember, when you subtract fractions, you need a common denominator. My common denominator here is 4. And so I have 7 pi over 4 minus 8 pi over 4, which is equivalent to my 2 pi. So what's my answer? Theta equals negative pi over 4. And that is the correct answer. So I want you to note that if you wrote this as your answer, you'd get it wrong because your answer has to be an angle that rotates in the negative direction. I need to be in quadrant 4, but I need to rotate in the negative direction. So be very careful on that.